You don't have to be an architecture or history buff to appreciate the stunning buildings that make Budapest a sightseeing paradise, such as the Hungarian Parliament building, Matthias Church, and the Széchenyi thermal baths. You may not need an excuse to visit Budapest, Hungary's capital city. However, if you're debating whether to visit Budapest or another European destination, this video is for you. Hello and welcome everyone to your favorite YouTube channel, City to Visit. In today's video, we will find out the best possible reasons that you should visit Budapest. So stick out to the end and get your possible reason to visit Budapest. With that being said, let's begin. Number 18. The Architecture Many visitors comment on Budapest's faded beauty, which is evident in its multi-story buildings that have not been continuously renovated or recently restored. There are several architectural styles represented. The Parliament Building, for example, is an elegant example of neo-Gothic architecture, while Art Nouveau examples in Budapest add to the city's turn-of-the-century charm. Number 17. Must Visit Museums Almost every European capital city, including Budapest, has some world-class museums. There is no shortage of places to visit in Budapest for art and culture lovers. From the Museum of Fine Arts to the Hungarian National Gallery to the Muschernok. Number 16. Rich and fascinating history. Budapest has seen its fair share of rulers and events, from the Roman Empire and the Austro-Hungarian Empire to World War II and the Communist regime. Of course, each has had an impact on the city and helped shape it into what it is today. And there are many places to visit to learn more about the city's history, such as the Budapest History Museum and the Buda Castle, which is one of the top things to see in Budapest. Number 15. Hungarian food. It wasn't always easy for me to immerse myself in Budapest's traditional food scene as someone who doesn't eat meat, but I did manage to find some great things to eat. Hungarian food, particularly lecho, palacinta, rantocha, langas, which are deep fried dough topped with sour cream and grated cheese and nuckedly can be hearty and comforting. Number 14. Ruin Bars. Once upon a time, there were some brilliant young Hungarians who had the brilliant idea of converting half-ruined pre-war buildings into cool hipster bars and clubs. The outcome could have not been better, and these ruined bars have become a true attraction in Budapest. The most well-known is Simplicurt, a ruined bar open both during the day and at night. It also hosts a farmer's market on Sunday mornings, but it can get crowded and unpleasant. Visit in the afternoon, or go explore other ruined bars in Budapest's Jewish Quarter. Number 13. Hidden Courtyards So I have mentioned all of the beautiful buildings, but what about the interiors? Budapest, on the other hand, is full of these cool hidden courtyards that will make your jaw drop. Now, I'm not saying that you should invade private residences and barge into people's homes, but here are a few courtyards that are open to the public. In addition, if you are staying in an apartment during your trip, there is a good chance your building has a beautiful courtyard for you to enjoy. Number 12. Jewish Heritage I never passed up an opportunity to reconnect with my Jewish roots, so that aspect of Budapest was right up my alley. The city once had a thriving Jewish community, and there is still a small Jewish community in Budapest today. In fact, Hungary has Europe's third largest Jewish population, the largest synagogue in Europe, the Hungarian Jewish Museum, Jewish restaurants, and guided tours in the Jewish district are among the activities and places to visit. Anyone interested in Jewish history will find plenty of opportunities to learn about it in Budapest. Number 11. Budget Friendly A city like Budapest may appear expensive on the surface, but it is actually one of the best cheap European destinations you can visit. Despite being a member of the European Union, Hungary's local currency is the HUF. One USD equals approximately 285 HUF, and one euro equals approximately 322 HUF. You can spend three to four days in Budapest without breaking the bank, from a cup of coffee to a decadent brunch to a full dinner. There is also accommodation for every budget, and many attractions and sites are free to visit. If that isn't a huge plus and a compelling reason to visit Budapest, I don't know what is. Number 10. A strong street and urban art scene. I have become a huge fan of street art in recent years, so I enjoy visiting cities that have embraced it. If, like me, you enjoy street art, you will appreciate this alternative side of Budapest, 
Its Jewish district, in particular, is full of painted murals. But there are colorful surprises throughout the city. There are also guided walking tours, available to learn more about the artists and pieces. Number 9. Relaxed Atmosphere The atmosphere is one of the main reasons to visit Budapest. This city is bustling with activity, but it never feels frantic. It has a relaxed vibe that is contagious and definitely contributed to my positive experience. Because most tourists focus on certain areas of the city, many lesser-known districts go unexplored, so there are always quiet and relaxed corners in Budapest. Number 8. Irresistible Cafes I thought Vienna was the coffeehouse queen, but Budapest is putting up a good fight. While some cafes in Budapest are ideal for breakfast and brunch, others will satisfy your craving for coffee and delectable pastries. Because coffee is taken very seriously in this city, there are numerous amazing specialty coffee shops. Number 7. Easy to get around It's not the main reason I would visit Budapest, but it's a nice bonus. With such an extensive network of metro, trams, and buses, getting around Budapest couldn't be easier. The city is also very walkable, and I only used public transportation a few times while I was there. Number 6. Mesmerizing views If you enjoy scenic viewpoints, and who doesn't? Budapest has plenty to offer. From Geller Hill to Castle Hill to rooftop bars, you can never get enough of the city's postcard perfect views. Sunset is the most magical time to enjoy them, especially if you're looking for romantic things to do in Budapest. But any other hour will suffice. Number 5. Souvenir Shopping Hungary understands how to make the most of its beautiful, colorful, handmade, and traditional products. With its colorful flowers and a plain background, Hungarian embroidery is one of the most popular souvenirs. Visitors to Hungary, on the other hand, frequently leave with bags full of paprika, porcelain, marzipan, fashion accessories, or artisan jewelry. Number 4. Thermal Baths If you need to unwind but can't combine your trip to Budapest with a stay in a spa town, consider visiting one of Budapest's many thermal baths. These baths have a long history and many provide additional services, such as massage and wellness treatments. Number 3. Each season has something to offer While winter in Hungary can be harsh, Budapest has something special to offer almost all year. The cultural Budapest Spring Festival and Cherry Blossom Festival take place in the spring, while the Danube Carnival and Budapest Summer Festival take place in the summer. In the fall, take in the foliage and the Budapest Wine Festival. Take in the foliage and the Budapest Wine Festival. And in the winter, stroll through the Christmas markets and decorated streets. This city can also be a fantastic European girls trip destination. Number 2. You can observe the city from land, sky, or water. Crossing Budapest's famous bridges or standing in the terrace of the neo-Gothic Fisherman's Bastion provide unparalleled views of the city. You can also ride tram number 2, which has been named one of the world's 10 most amazing tram routes. What about a Danube cruise for some picture-perfect scenery? Boats are now a part of the public transportation system. Boats are now a part of the public transportation system. Number 1. Proximity to other parts of Hungary Day trips from Budapest can take you to other parts of Hungary. Lake Balaton, for example, is only about an hour's drive south of Budapest. While staying in the capital city, you can visit wine regions, small villages, castles, parks, and other attractions. The Hungarian capital is an ideal travel destination due to its long history and culture, as well as its stunning skyline. With this, I would like to end this video with the hope that you liked and enjoyed it. However, stay tuned to the channel as a new video is coming soon in relation to the ancient city of Athens. If you like our content, make sure that you like our video. And do share your views and opinions with us in the comments section down below. Do subscribe to the channel to receive regular videos from us. And don't forget to click the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.